case. Now the air that's out there is drier than what we've seen. It's not incredibly dry though. 63 degree dew point in Atlanta. That means you can still feel just a little bit of the humidity in the air, but it's not as thick as what you have back here. Jackson in New Orleans where that dew point is 76 degrees. That is tropical and oppressive. We don't have that. And because of that, the temperatures you can see in the outlying areas away from the urban heat island that is Atlanta with the temperature of 74, you'll see some temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to start the day tomorrow. Back to school, Cobb County kids, 8 o'clock in the morning, 72 degrees. By noontime, that temperature getting up to around 86. And when the kids are let out, it's going to be about 92 degrees at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But again, the humidity will not be a huge factor tomorrow. Our high temperatures range from the upper 80s to the mid 90s, 93 LaGrange, 95 for Atlanta, but some upper 80s. You get up into Cherokee County, kids there heading back to school, about 88 degrees will be your high temperature in Canton. On Wednesday, another little step backward for us temperature wise, uh, probably still above 90 though in Atlanta to extend that heat wave for one more day. After that, it's a really tough call with Thursday and Friday. For what the high temperature is going to be because of the risk of storms both of those days. Looking ahead to the weekend, temperatures are right back into the 90s for the first weekend of August. Saturday about 93, 30% chance of a storm coming our way on Sunday. So be weather aware on Thursday and Friday. Good idea to download the Atlanta News First First Alert weather app. Probably going to see at least one of those days where the high temperature gets stuck in the 80s. That won't last for long. 90s not only for the weekend, but into next week. All right, Fred, thank you.